So you're storing your secrets in HashiCorp Vault, but how do you use them in your Ansible playbooks? All right, then keep your secrets. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you two different ways you can use Ansible to retrieve a secret from HashiCorp Vault and then use that secret in your playbook. So obviously, one of the first things you're going to need, and you probably already have it if you're watching this video, is HashiCorp Vault running somewhere. And you can see I'm inside my HashiCorp Vault. I'm inside the namespace Ansible, which is inside my admin namespace. I've enabled the secrets KV2 engine at the mount point secret recipes. And within here, I've got a path for Krabby Patty. And within there, I've got a secret called formula. And then if I were to view it, it's the Krabby Patty secret formula, which is basically a hamburger. And you can also see I've got user pass authentication method enabled here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do user pass and token authentication with Ansible to HashiCorp Vault. But you can see when I click into here, I've got a user, Mr. Krabs, um, because he is allowed to retrieve the Krabby Patty, form, Krabby Patty formula. And then if I come to policies, you can see I've created a policy called read formula, which allows anybody assigned to this policy to read the Krabby Patty secret formula. Now, what I want to do is I want to retrieve this secret using Ansible so that I can then use the secret within my Ansible playbook. So there's multiple ways to do this, but in this video, I want to show you two ways. So the first one I'll show you is how to use the community.hashi vault collection to get a secret from vault. And the second way I'll show you is how to use the built-in Ansible URI module in order to query the vault API to get a secret. So for the first example, we're going to use the community.hashi underscore vault collection. And I'm going to show you how to use modules included specifically the kv2 get module within this collection in order to get a secret from HashiCorp vaults kv version 2 secret store so i'll put a link in the description to this documentation but if you come here and you go to the user guide there's some requirements we need to meet first off we need the python package hvac installed so i'm going to go ahead and copy that now i'm going to come over here and instead of doing a pip install i'm going to do a pip 3 install and that's because i'm using python 3 but if you're not using python 3 you can just do a pip install so i've got that installed now here's the important bits if you go beyond this video and you decide to start experimenting with this more there are different versions of hvac you need installed depending on what you're trying to do right if you're trying to do cert auth jwt auth azure auth there's other versions of hvac you need if you're just downloading the latest you shouldn't have to worry about this but just be aware and then there's other requirements based on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to use AWS profile or IAM role credentials, you need the BOTO3 package. Or if you're trying to do service principle or managed identity for Azure, you need Azure identity package. Now, in order to utilize this collection, I need to install it from Ansible Galaxy. So I'll do an Ansible Galaxy collection install, and it'll be community.hashi underscore vault. Now notice I put a sleeting slash here after Hashi. Uh, that is required, just note. All right, and the collection's installed. So now I can actually begin running my playbook to use this collection. So I'm gonna show you how to do username and password, but I'm also gonna show you how to do token. So first I wanna look at my environment variables and I wanna look for vault. So I've got my vault address set. And then with that set, I'm gonna do a vault login of the user that I showed you earlier that I had configured in Vault, Mr. Krabs. So his name is Krabs and his password is password. So now I've authenticated to Vault. So I know that the username Krabs and the username password are valid. And I can see that I have the read formula policy attached to this user. And I also have it attached to the token. And that will become important when we change this from username and password to token in a minute. So the URL just needs to be the URL of your Vault. The engine mount point, by default, it is secret slash data. If you mount it somewhere else, you need to provide that. So I've mounted mine at secret recipes and then the path to the secret that you would like to access. So in our case, it's Krabby Patty. Now notice here, I don't have slash data anywhere, but this is the equivalent of secret recipes slash data slash Krabby Patty. And that is because this collection will automatically append data to the end of the mount point so there's no need for us to do it if we were to add data here it would double it up and it would be an invalid query if i'm not in the default namespace i need to add the namespace here so i've added that 
and then I specify the auth method. How would I like to get this secret? I'm going to use username and password. And then I'm going to take whatever response I get back, which in our case is going to be the results of the secret. And I'm going to store that in a variable called response. And then I'm going to display that variable, but I'm going to display the secret value within that variable. So we'll see how that works in a minute. So if I run an Ansible dash playbook and I run against the first example, we should see our secret formula and there we go. So the secret formula for Krabby Patties is burgers. Now say I want to do this in a more secure way, right? I don't want to use username and password for, for that. I could change the auth method to token and I could get rid of username and password here. They're no longer required when I'm doing token. And I need to, again, do the vault login and make sure that my token policy has the ability to read the secret I'm attempting to read. And then I'm going to take this token. And then we have a couple of options here. So if I go to the vault KV2 get module and I look at the documentation and I look for token, right? We can see that I can either provide the token directly in my file, or I can set an environment variable called vault underscore token. And there is an order of precedence that is called out here, right? So the token parameter in your playbook is used first. If that doesn't exist, we use an Ansible variable. If that doesn't exist, we look for this environment variable. If that doesn't exist, we use this one. And then lastly, we look for a token file. So I'm going to use an environment variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to export vault underscore token, and I'm going to set it to that token. And now because I've set auth method to token, it should use that environment variable because that is the only token I've set. So if I rerun this playbook, again, we see that I can access the Krabby Patty path and pull out the secret formula for Krabby Patties, which is burger. So for the second example, say we can't use the collection, our company won't let us install it, right? Well, there's three things we need to do this example. We need a token with the permissions to read the secret. We need the URL to include the namespace of the secret path. And we need the key of the secret for which we want to retrieve a value for, right? So in this example, you see I've provided a variable within my play vault token, and I'm passing in the vault token. And this is the token from the crabs user that has the ability to read the Krabby Patty secret. And we're using the built in Ansible module called URI. So if you have Ansible installed or Ansible core installed, odds are you've got this installed. Now for the URL, we're not just going to stop at the port like we did in the other example. Now we need to add the full path to the path of our secret, right? So in my example, remember I said we needed a URL with inc to include the namespace. So I'm using a namespace called Ansible within my admin namespace, the mount point, which is secret recipes slash data that is required. And then the path to the secret, which is Krabby Patty. All the URI module does is allow you to make API queries against the REST API. So we're doing a get, and for headers, we're passing our vault token. So this is a variable and it's set up here. We want some body data to return in a JSON format, and we're gonna register that into a variable called response. And then we're gonna access this response variable, which is just a bunch of JSON data returned by the Vault API to pull out the password or secret value for the key formula. And that is why we need the key of the secret for which we're trying to retrieve a value for. So here I'm saying, give me the value for the key formula when you do this API query. So now I'm going to run example two and we should see secret burger. And if I were to look at my formula key, you can see it has a value of burger.